Today, I wanted to show you how I ended up installing my daylight sensor for the Keyson Pathblazer modulator. Now, here you can see the sensor plugged into the back of the Pathblazer, and I temporarily installed it here, kind of zip tied to my brake hydraulic line, and that worked fine, but I wanted something that looked nicer and was a little more permanent. Now, the daylight sensor comes in your kit with your path blazer, and you also get this little plastic bezel that comes with it. And I'm actually going to use that with my installation today. You can install it without the bezel, but I'm going to use the bezel. Now, here you can see where I chose to install the daylight sensor. It's right down here on this kind of plastic uh, inner shelter cover. Uh, you can, of course, install it anywhere. You can install it in the speaker grill if you like. This is just the location that I chose, and it seems to be getting plenty of daylight during the daytime riding. Now, if I had to do over, I might have installed it a little more on the outside of this cover, a little more closer to the edge of the bike, but this seems to be working just fine. So let me show you how I installed this. I wanted to first let you know that I did this with the top shelter off of the bike. That's the easiest way to get this inner shelter cover to come off. Recently, I had to take the top shelter off the bike because I was going to replace my air filter anyway, and I used that as an opportunity to install this daylight sensor. So if you plan to have the top shelter off the bike, that's the perfect time to do this installation. To remove the inner shelter cover, you'll need to remove these little push pins kind of at the back of your center console or your center panel switch. Make sure that those have been removed. Now here you can see that inner shelter cover on the right hand side. You'll notice that I have the center console or the center panel switch removed, but you do not have to remove it to remove the inner shelter cover. You just need to make sure you remove that little rivet, that little plastic rivet I showed you a little earlier. It goes in this hole right here. So there's also some other uh, fasteners that hold this inner shelter cover on. Here is a 5 millimeter socket bolt uh, up here underneath the speaker cover. And if we look inside the steering tunnel, you'll see another one of those plastic uh, rivets or uh, body clips right there next to the speaker cover. There's another one toward the front of the bike and another one down below and even one underneath that. If you don't have the inner cover removed, you will need to remove that one as well. I'm going to start by removing the 5 millimeter socket bolt that's just underneath the speaker cover shown here. And as you can see, it helps to magnetize the tip of your Allen wrench. So here I'm going to remove the first of those body clips. I'm just going to punch in on the center like we always do and just use my fingernail. Actually, I'm going to pull it out with a pick and then I'll get my fingernail in there and pull it out. Now, you may want to put a rag down in that steering tunnel just in case you drop one of these body clips. Now, if we look toward the front of the bike, you'll see another body clip up on top of that panel. And we're going to just pop it out like we did the last one. And if we look down toward the front of the bike, toward the bottom of the panel, you'll see two more of these body clips. One connects it to the inner cover or the inner cowl. And another one is just connecting it to the shelter itself. So here we're going to remove this one. Again, if you have the inner cowl removed, you won't need to remove the lower one shown in this video. But I had not removed my inner cowl, so I will have to remove that one as well. Now that we have all the fasteners out, we can begin to work this little panel out from the shelter area. I'm going to need a 10 millimeter hole to fit the bezel in this spot, but I'm going to start by drilling a small pilot hole first, and then I'm going to use a step bit uh, to finish out to get down to 10 millimeters because a step bit really works well on this soft plastic. Here you can see the bit I'm using. I'll be going down to the next to the last step on this bit. 
These step bits are really great for drilling through this soft plastic material. It really just cuts it like butter. I'm actually just holding this in my hand. I'm not even, you know, I don't have it viced or, or clamped or anything. And you can see what a beautiful uh, round hole that you do get. Now I'll put a link in the description of this video to the step bit and the drill that I'm using here. And while I don't show it in this video, I did have to use a round file to file some of the inner edge of this hole just so the plastic uh, bezel would fit. Now here I'm just slipping that bezel over the daylight sensor. You do want to remove the nut and the washer from the daylight sensor before you install the bezel. Now I'm fishing the end of the wire through and pulling the daylight sensor so that I can fit it flush in that opening on the inner shelter cover as you can see here. And it takes a little work. I just have to kind of mash on it a little bit to get it to go into place. Here you can see what it looks like after it's been installed in the inner shelter cover and from underneath. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to tape down this wire toward the rear of that inner shelter cover. I'm just using some gaffer tape. You could use masking tape or any kind of tape just to tape this down and it kind of comes out. The wire will come out toward the front of the bike toward the top of that cover. And now it's time to reinstall our inner shelter cover. You basically just work it around, get it back into position, and you have some hoses and, and little uh, hydraulic tubes and things you have to work the thing around. And get your wire back there because it will come out toward the front of the bike at the top of that cover. There's plenty of room for it to fit there. And you just kind of maneuver it into position. And basically, I'm going to start out by putting this screw in here just to hold it in place. You can see my daylight sensor here. And once I get that screwed in place, then I'll go in here and snap in my other areas, my tabs I need to get in place. Okay, you can see down here this tab on the shelter inner cover has to go behind this inner cowl. Now, if you have the inner cowl removed, you don't need to worry about this. You just go ahead and put this in place and everything else will be fine. You just want to make sure that that tab is on the inside of that inner cowl like that. And now we can replace our, our little push pins first one I'm going to put in is the one that actually connects the inner shelter cover to the inner cowl. Now here we're looking at the front of that cover. You can see our daylight sensor wire coming out there underneath that uh, cover. I'm going to put a push pin there or a body clip and then here's the one toward the rear. It actually connects the inner shelter cover to that uh, speaker cover. That's the first uh, body clip we removed. So let's go ahead and put that body clip back in. It was a little difficult to get the video camera up here to show you when I was actually tying up these wires, but I want you to show I want to show you where I did it and how I did it. There's that cross member kind of at an angle on the frame and I tied the excess wire to that frame and then was able to plug the daylight sensor into the back of the path blazer. <laughs> If you enjoyed this video, please take a second to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to click the subscribe button and that little bell icon so YouTube will notify you of new videos when they become available.